Hey there Broncos, it's Mr. Miller again in the library and in this video we are going to discuss Sora magazines. Now linked below in the comments and at the cards of the end of the video are going to be the first two uh, videos where we discuss how to access Sora and how to use it. This one's focused on magazines. So again we're on the library website underneath the read page. The third link says find an ebook or magazine Sora. So if we click on that we jump right to our Sora shelf and we can see all the magazines ebooks and audiobooks that we have checked down. But how do we find a magazine? So if we go down here to explore, I'm going to jump to the explore page and just like in the previous videos we see we have the books, audiobooks, and then here on this shelf we have the magazines. Now there's a lot going on so how do we narrow it to just the magazines? Well we have the filter feature but also these quick filters up here. I just click on magazines and then I'm only looking at the magazines. It says we have about 280 magazines but that's for the whole school district. As you browse through these you'll notice that some of them are for the little kids over at the elementary so you can further use the the feature filter or the filter feature um, to narrow it by just just the magazines that are interesting to you. So how do we check out a magazine? Uh, let's jump in and look at all of them. Again, you might filter by date or by interest or by topic or by age, but once you find a magazine you're interested, you can click on the magazine or just directly to borrow. If you click on it, you get some additional options, like you can look at past issues um, back to 2020. So that might be interesting for some of the magazines. But once you're ready, you click borrow and it opens it immediately. Or again, you can go back to your shelf and open previous magazines. So I'm gonna actually jump into a magazine I already have open uh, to save time. So here I have the MLB preview from Sports Illustrated ah, for kids, uh, so classic. But you know, it's kind of easy to read, especially on your Chromebook. You can just flip through the pages. Also, if you go to the table of contents, you can jump directly into an article as well. Um, one thing, if I click in the middle, I have some additional options like the books. I can make the font bigger. I can search within the magazine. I can bookmark. I can zoom in. Also, the magazines have this feature at the bottom where I can scrub through the whole magazine visually, which might be nice to jump in to different parts of the magazine as well. So that is the Sora magazine feature. Um, just like the other ones, I strongly encourage you to use it. Uh, you can use it on your Chromebook and it looks like this. Uh, we'll also have other videos where we show you how to use it on your phone or tablet, and especially the magazines are a great experience there. All right, have a great day and happy reading.